history lesson. It's time to turn back the clock, way back to the early 1970s. The Apollo missions, you know them, one small step on the moon and all that, were winding down, and the next big steps for the space program were anything but set in stone. But some brilliant minds at NASA were working on a new design unlike any spacecraft before. The world's first reusable spacecraft. It launches like a rocket, maneuvers in Earth orbit like a spacecraft, and lands like an airplane. All that with an enormous payload capacity. You know that spacecraft today as NASA's Space Shuttle. With an operating life of over three decades, the Space Shuttle program has proven to be an amazing achievement for the engineering community, an asset to the scientific community, and a source of inspiration and innovation for the general public. But how many of us know exactly what the shuttle has accomplished, or how it has impacted our lives? Let's take a look back now at some Space Shuttle highlights that occurred just because it flew. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7. On April 12th, 1981, the first flight of the Columbia Orbiter marked the beginning of our shuttle era. The flight was numbered STS-1, with the STS meaning Space Transportation System, and the 1 representing the first assigned shuttle mission. Columbia's two-person crew carried out its 54.5-hour mission successfully, and from that point on, the Space Shuttle missions continued to get more and more complex as we came to understand just what this incredible machine could do. A quick look at this graph shows us how mission complexity increased as the Space Shuttle program progressed. But what does each color mean? Let's take a closer look. The dark blue indicates the length of the flight measured in mission days. Earlier flights lasted less than a week, but later flights would last up to 15 days. Add the total number of days each shuttle flew, and you can see that the orbiters have spent a great deal of time in flight. Green is crew size, which started at two but grew routinely to six members. Some flights to Mir and the International Space Station included a seventh crew member as the shuttle took the crews to the station and returned them home. Purple represents deployment. The large cargo bay in the space shuttle meant NASA could take dozens of satellites to space and release them into orbit. These satellites do everything from communication to helping us monitor weather and climate. Some satellites, such as the Hubble Space Telescope, were not only originally deployed, but returned to the payload bay for repair, keeping them in space, and in the case of Hubble, able to help scientists learn more about our universe than we ever thought possible. Just an unbelievable view. Black means rendezvous. That's every time the shuttle connected to an orbiting craft, from satellites to Hubble to Mir, and of course to the ISS. Yellow represents extravehicular activities, or EVAs. Measured by EVA crew days, many flights had no scheduled EVAs, while others had a spacewalk every day where one or two crew members had to leave the safety and security of the shuttle to do some task that required them to literally hang out in space. The light blue represents space labs. These are missions with a scientific lab in the payload bay. These flights included dozens of scientific studies that made a difference, not just to the space program, but to our lives here on Earth. Experiments have been done to measure changes in the human body, the effect of microgravity and radiation on seeds, and even ways to improve communications, just to name a few. And finally, the red represents construction of the ISS by shuttle crew members. NASA and the international community were able to use the large cargo bay to add major elements to the ISS, including the new solar arrays and laboratories, making the ISS a human achievement as well as a technological one, and allowing it to function for years to come. We're ready for another great day in space. Wow, all that because of the shuttle. But we can't stop there. The shuttle program even changed NASA careers. Prior to the shuttle, every astronaut was cut from the same mold, military pilots. But the shuttle opened the door for people with different sets of skills and knowledge, creating the positions of mission specialists and payload specialists, people who could focus their energies on the engineering tasks to be accomplished or the science to be performed. Two of these mission specialists included Sally Ride, the first American female in space aboard STS-7 and Guy S. Bluford Jr., the first African-American in space aboard STS-8. Both missions flew in 1983. What else has the shuttle given us? 
How about spin-offs? That's right, the Space Shuttle program has generated over 100 technology spin-offs, including an artificial heart, video stabilization software, even insulation for your car. How's that for a lasting legacy? As for what's next, NASA engineers and scientists are hard at work on the next chapter of space exploration. Designing spacecraft that will take humans far beyond low Earth orbit. And thanks to the shuttle, our next giant leap into the universe will be even bigger, just because it flew.